Hello, this is uh, Michael Sullivan from BSP. I help present NetSuite and I help work out some solutions. Um, I've been looking at the new version of 2024.2 and have a short little suite app to go through with you. It's always nice to see that there's some new stuff around manufacturing. That's really mainly my focus when I do these presentations. Um, the topic today is purely cost variance analysis. And what is that really? It's looking at your standards for a work order and then analyzing them against the actuals and giving you an in-depth analysis where the variance has occurred. So if you are, let's say, in a make-to-order environment, certainly this would be very interesting because you can see uh, how you're performed against uh, your standards. So let me pull up that suite and explain what this is all about. All right, so what you need to do first is download that suite app. And you basically go to suite apps, you hit the little link here, and NetSuite has a whole bunch of these now, and you can go cost variance analysis, and you would select that. And then I have it already installed. Otherwise, there's a button here. You press that button and it downloads it in a couple of minutes. <clears throat> and then it shows up in NetSuite. I'm just going to go the quick way here. It's just user global search. And just hit the link here for the page. And it takes you to the suite app. <clears throat> so a couple of things you do need to do here. You need to select the item. So I'm using a firearm G21. You need to select the location where that's at. And then you need to select the work order. So if there's only in this date range here, it's going to find anywhere you have a work order that has been processed. <clears throat> I only happen to have one. And always that's why I picked it out so quickly. And now all you really do is you hit the submit button and it does all the work for you. So top section here is telling you what the item was, the bomb revision, the quantity, the planned cost of this item. Planned cost per unit, I had a quantity too. That's why that's sitting there. And now it's giving you the actual cost here. So I went over the actual cost per unit, the variance, the variance per unit, um, the status of the work order. And you can see here, first of all, based off of my cost categories, my material costs are quite high. And then when we go to the components, it's going to show you all of your components. Uh, I on purpose issued extra inventory. So imagine uh, that, you know, somebody ran over a piece with a forklift and you had to consume you know, additional inventory to build that particular product. And then you can see there's the actual cost of variances that have been accumulated. And the conversion cost is really your labor cost. So it's showing you the routing here, your plans, your actuals, your variances, all right? Planned labor, labor variances, total variances, and so on. It's not, not too bad, actually, right? Again, if you're building the stock or something, probably not that interesting. But in general, if you're a make-to-order environment and maybe you do customize your product sometimes, this is a really good analysis. Uh, <clears throat> you can download this. You can email this to somebody as well. And then you could just reset it and look at the next item if you wanted to directly from here. But again, what I'm finding here for the last couple of releases is that most of the new stuff is coming in as a suite app, especially when it's related around manufacturing, purchasing, costing, and stuff like that.